Hello all. So we have built our very beautiful Arima model and that is exactly the trend of my forecasted value as well as what exactly is my actual value in my testing data set. So now it's a time for you evaluate your model using your mean squared error as well as using your mean absolute error. So very first you have to import both of the classes over here. So I'm just going to import both the stuff. So I'm going to say from cycle learn dot matrix i have to import the very first is exactly my mean absolute error as well as the second one is let's say my mean squared error so the very first one is my let's say i'm going to use this mean squared error so here basically you have to pass both your what is your test data and uh, you will see in test data and now in this test data you have your column as vwap which stands for volume weighted average price and the second one is exactly your forecast underscore arima you can press tab as well let's say whatever mean squared error you will get you can compute a square value on that error so i'm going to say just call a function which is my sqrt function which is an inbuilt function defined in my numpy so if you are going to execute it it is showing me VWAP as a key error because W is in a calculated way. So you will see this much error I have in my data. So now it's a time for evaluating your model through your mean underscore absolute underscore error. So here very first I have to just pass my this VWAP the first one data and the second one is exactly what I have predicted which is inside my this forecast arima so if you are going to execute you will see you have error as somewhere close to 124 point something else so you can say this auto arima model seems to do a very good job in predicting the stock prices of bajaj finance given the data till all the dates so you will see how my model is performing i have done all these steps i have done evaluation of my model i have built my model i have created feature engineering on a model and i have added my all the features by using the concept of lagging as well so that's your entire process of how exactly you can create your beautiful time series model which has this much number of rmsc value which is exactly my root mean square error and this is exactly your mee which is my mean absolute error so that's all about this project hope so you love it thank you have a nice day keep learning keep going Keep practicing.